How's everyone doing? It's me, Pete Wagner, your ambassador. We are talking holiday drinks. It is getting cold outside, so I thought I'd make something warm for you all. We are making Mexican hot chocolate, and what would Mexican hot chocolate be without a little bit of tequila? For this, I'm taking three cups of uh, milk. You can choose whichever milk you'd prefer. I prefer whole milk or a cream or a half and half. We're then adding uh, some cocoa powder to it. We are also adding a little bit of sugar, cinnamon, and then we are adding cayenne. It is Mexican hot chocolate, so you want it spicy. If you cannot remember all of those recipes, there is a fantastic product called Abuelitas that you can pick up at almost any store. It is Mexican hot chocolate, super easy to make. So we're taking our hot chocolate and we are adding it to our cup. Look at that. We're gonna fill this up all the way or at least part of the way. I can smell it. I wish you could smell everything that's coming out of here. That cinnamon, that cayenne is coming out. We're then going to add two ounces of Herradura Reposado. Herradura, that means horseshoe. It's good luck every time you have yourself a drink. Reposado means rested. Herradura actually created the Reposado. That means that it's sat in a barrel for uh, 11 months, that's one month shy of an Añejo. That means that it has lots of oak notes. We're then going to add, I had a debate with someone. Do you put marshmallow, do you put whipped cream? So I chose whipped marshmallow. We're going to put marshmallow fluff right on top. If that decides to let go, there we go. And then we're going to top it off with just a little bit of cinnamon. And there you have your Herradura Reposado Mexican hot chocolate. Cheers.